temporarily restrains people who are not cooperating with the police. You click a button, you get wrapped up, restrained. RAF Technologies CEO, and by the way, the co-founder of Taser, is Tom Smith, and Tom Smith joins us now. How many police departments have bought the Bowler RAF? Well, we're over 440 agencies now in the U.S. using this, and I think when I was on with you last year, it was only 150, so you can see it's pretty dramatic growth, and then we're also in 38 countries, so it is something being used in the field now, as you're showing, and uh, it's not just concept, it's actually working out there. Now, it does actually work, right? I mean, I know we've got video of it actually working in the field. What does it do? It just chucks out a couple of lines that wrap around somebody and brings them down? Correct. It's the only tool designed not to use pain compliance, so it throws a uh, Kevlar cord out a distance of 10 to 25 feet and temporarily restrains either the arms or legs, giving the officer that window of opportunity to go in and take them into custody and get them the help that they need. So it's about trying to solve these very difficult problems that the world is facing right now. Can anybody buy one? Today it's only available for law enforcement. That's been our primary focus is, is looking at these challenges that we have and then using technology to help these officers end these situations quickly and early before they escalate to higher levels of force. How much does each one cost? It's between $1,000 and $1,200 for the, uh, all the items. That's the holster, the device, the cartridges for training and everything. So that's a ballpark to put it out on the street per officer. A, th a thousand bucks per officer. Okay. Yes, sir. And you're into 450 police departments already. I would imagine the business is going to be pretty strong, bearing in mind the unrest that we've seen throughout the country. Yes, and the training that we're now getting into as well, because any tool is going to need some really good training. So if you look at our body cam videos of actual uses in the field, you'll see the discussions before, after the communication. So we're really focusing on the training and creating this platform of our devices and the family, and now using virtual reality as a training platform to integrate the use of this technology to end these situations quickly. Uh, now, when you, you were the co-founder of Taser, and it's in early days, it was met with a lot of lawsuits. Uh, I know you. I think you've gotten past that now. Are you getting lawsuits with Bowler Rap? Uh, knock on wood, we have not had any lawsuits related to the product in the field at all. And again, it's because it's not related to causing injuries, and uh, that's really the design of the system. And the, you know, like throwing handcuffs from a distance. So no, no lawsuits at this point related to the product. Tom Smith, very interesting idea. Thanks very much for joining us. We do appreciate it, Tom. The Bowler Rap, and we'll look into it. Thank Thanks you, so much, Stuart. Sure thing. President Biden met with a...